SpaceX's 21st Commercial Resupply Services mission to the International Space Station is ready to launch from Kennedy Space Center. This mission will bring critical cargo, research, and technology demonstration payloads to the orbiting laboratory. The ISS National Laboratory is proud to sponsor more than 15 payloads on this mission, representing dozens of experiments to further fundamental and applied research through space-based inquiry and to engage the next generation of researchers and explorers. Here's a quick look at some of the payloads on SpaceX CRS-21. Three projects on this mission are funded by the National Institutes of Health through its joint multi-year tissue chips in space initiative with the ISS National Lab. Tissue chips are small devices engineered to grow human cells on an artificial scaffold to model the structure and function of human tissues. Studying tissue chips in space may accelerate pathways for understanding disease and developing new treatments for use on Earth and beyond. In 2019, a team of researchers from the University of California, San Diego sent a brain organoid model to space for the first time ever to study neurological diseases in microgravity. Based on findings from that initial investigation, the team is launching a second payload to further examine how microgravity affects the survival, metabolism, and cognitive function of brain cells in an organoid model. Bristol-Myers Squibb, a leading pharmaceutical company, is launching a protein crystallization investigation aimed at improving drug formulation and delivery for patients on Earth. In this experiment, the team will study the crystallization of monoclonal antibodies in space to improve their crystallization back on the ground. Monoclonal antibodies are lab-created proteins designed to interact with specific targets called antigens and are used in the treatment of several diseases, including cancer. Did you know that more than 7 million tomato seeds have been sent to low Earth orbit and exposed to microgravity? That's right. Tomatosphere is an education program in which students and teachers around the country compare the germination rates of space flown seeds and Earth-based seeds. The program provides students with a glimpse into how the unique microgravity environment of the ISS affects plant growth. Speaking of education, this mission includes more than 30 experiments from the Student Spaceflight Experiments Program, which provides yearly opportunities for students and communities around the world to leverage the space station for research using mixed sticks testing tubes. Investigations from this year's participating students span a variety of research areas, including the physical and life sciences, as well as plant biology. Since its inception in 2010, the program has engaged more than 125,000 students in space-based projects. Many of the investigations on this mission build on previously flown experiments. Such research serves to advance the knowledge gained through space-based inquiry, delivering value to our nation and driving a robust, sustainable, and scalable market in low Earth orbit. We look forward to this launch and the important research that will be completed on our nation's orbiting laboratory in the coming months. To learn more about all ISS National Lab sponsored research on this mission, please visit issnationallab.org.